dramatic season finale, Monday and Tuesday, when Tasha's journey comes to an emotional end. <laughs> Welcome back to another Share News from Home. We have to talk about the latest teaser for The Bachelorette. But before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, and I'm joined by the wonderful Avery Grooms and Hibba Berry. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. Hello, hello. So next week, for the second week in a row, we are getting back-to-back -back episodes, and then that is it. It is going to be so crazy. Let's just dive right into this teaser because there is truly so much to break down. First of all, we have hometowns coming up, which is so exciting. Tomorrow night, Tasha's journey to find love continues. I am so excited for hometowns. I mean, I love hometowns. I feel like this is what I've been waiting for. Are you excited, Avery? Are you happy with who she chose to meet their families? Yeah, I can't believe it's already here, hometowns. It felt kind of like a fast season, but also a long season. Um, so it's just crazy stuff here. I'm just looking forward to this to see everyone's families. And I really like the top four that she picked. You know, hometowns is where the reality sets in. It's not just about the couple, but it's about the family and the fit of the family. So this is where we're actually going to see if this couple is the correct fit and if the family, of course, approves. So this is where the real conversations are going to start, I think. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. And of course, in this teaser, we got our first look at some of these families. They look so adorable. Let's check it out. Seeing Tasha with my family, I felt like I saw a glimpse of the future. Mama. I haven't seen you smile that much in a long time. That was the most important night of my life. But the way you guys look at each other, there's definitely connection. So sweet. All of the parents look so fun. I don't know. I love to get to know the families. I feel like it really like says so much about the contestants. Is there anyone's family in particular that you are like the most excited to meet? You guys, I've been saying this since day one. Ivan, I'm telling you, I really <laughs> want him to win. For me, he's a front runner in my eyes. I kind of feel like he's maybe the one that's kind of the least popular of the final four. I know a lot of people are rooting for him, but as far as his fit with Tasha, I really hope it works out. But I really can't wait to see how she reacts to his family and vice versa. But what really kind of scared me a little bit was that Ivan was crying a lot in the promo. So I'm not sure what that was about. So that seems <laughs> a little concerning for me, but I mean, we just got to see how it plays out. Yeah, I totally agree. Ivan's definitely someone I would like to see his family just because he's such a likable, sweet guy. Like I want to see where he came from. Um, of course, everyone else too, but he's someone I'm really looking forward to. And just like you said, you learn so much more about a person by meeting their family. Um, and this could be a good or a bad thing. So we'll have to see how this plays out. Absolutely. Well, of course, it wouldn't be hometowns if it didn't bring up some like emotional reaction that we weren't expecting. And it looks like Brendan and Ben are going into this or finding somewhere along the way, some concerns, some anxieties these concerns about proposing that I haven't been able to shake. You love her. I don't know. I'm still a big skeptic. It's just so fast. So the classic, somebody's mom is not 100% sold. But I feel like the thing that kind of made me the most nervous from that was Ben. I mean, I was not expecting that from him. What did, what did you think of that, Avery? Yeah. I mean, I was anticipating someone's parents not being sold. I mean, for good reason, that always happens. But that definitely caught me off guard, Ben saying that right there, because he's kind of shown us the opposite of that. He hasn't come forward and said, I'm in love with Tasha, but it definitely seemed like he was on that path. So that was kind of shocking to see. To me, in the promo, it kind of seemed like that was the editor's magic once again, you know, just kind of making those edits out of sequence, because I don't think he would say that. I feel like they've come so far. He definitely fought for her. He fought for Tasha. He fought for opening up to her even more. I mean, these aren't things that you just say to anyone. These are things that you say to a life partner, you know, all these deep, dark secrets in this past that he's lived. So I hopefully 
think that it's, you know, one of those jump cuts that they make in the promos, you know, just to add, you know, that typical extra suspense. But I mean, I think Ben was has been a very strong contender as well. It will certainly be interesting to see. We know we've been played by those before. Let's jump into this next clip as well. Are you at with Zach in comparison to the other three? I'm definitely falling in love with Zach. You didn't answer the question. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I just got <laughs> so stressed on her behalf. Clearly, she's getting some tough questions. I feel like if I was a parent, though, I would be doing the same thing. It's very, It's got to be very hard to trust the process, especially if your kid comes home and truly is head over heels. I feel like that's when you, you're going to kick into protective mode. I mean, Zach has been through a lot. Do you think it makes sense for his dad to really want some straight answers? You know what? I think no matter how old you are, you're going to be a very protective parent, especially when you're having this girl come over to possibly be your son's wife and a new part of your family as well. So I feel like there's a lot of questions and kind of hurdles that Tasha has to get through for each of these families in order for her to be you know the correct suitor for their son and I mean she was getting grilled I mean this was no joke at all like you didn't answer the question so it's going to be interesting to see how she handles all of that heat with each family that she talks to yeah um like you said getting absolutely grilled by saying you didn't answer the question and the thing is she can't answer the question that's part of the show and i think that's why of course parents are more of skeptics because this is such an untraditional way to find your future husband or wife you know so they're going to be grilling her for good reason but at the same time this has to be so hard on her she's in love with four guys and she has to only pick one but has to talk to all their parents. So it's just an intense, messy situation. I could not imagine being in anything like that. Oh my gosh, me either. Well, I'm sure this doesn't come as a shock to either of you, but things are going to get emotional. This is not how I thought it was going to end. I should have told her, this is really real for me. <laughs> it's just like a lot. It's like a lot. Ugh. Of course, it's a lot. She's so in love with all of them. This is going to be hard. I mean, we've been talking about this for a while now. I feel like this final four or some version of this final four has been fairly obvious. And they're all so great. I cannot even imagine being in Tasha's shoes. I mean, I feel like she's totally lost at this point. Maybe like has a little gut feeling, but I don't know. I mean, what do you think, Avery? It seems like she's really going to go through it. I mean, because it's such a great group, it makes it even harder. And even if she does have a gut feeling or like one person significantly more than another, it's still going to be extremely emotional and hard because deep, deep down, she knows how good a people each of these guys are. So at the end of the day, she still has to send someone home. And that's going to be extremely hard because she's built such deep relationships with them. Um, so like I said, I could not imagine doing anything like this because you know you're about to hurt someone's feelings and it's someone you care about and she has to do it. So it's just it's sad to see this happen, but I hope there's a good outcome at the end after all these tears. It was so interesting to see how emotional she was when she eliminated Blake. So imagine how emotional she'll be once she has to eliminate someone from the final four. Because these, like you guys said, the final four, they're solid guys. She had a solid connection with each and every one of them. So I really don't know how she's going to really narrow it down to three, to two, and then to the one. So you guys, next week is going to be a roller coaster. Oh my gosh, it is. And the crazy thing is that the finale is like here. I mean, it's literally Tuesday of next week. I don't know how we got here. But it's all going to come to an end. And next week, it's the dramatic season finale, Monday and Tuesday, when Tasha's journey comes to an emotional end. <laughs> I don't love that Chris Harrison phrase. I hope it's just to mess with us. But an emotional end, I mean, shouldn't it be like a joyous end? I don't know. It feels like uh -huh. they're teeing us up for some sort of a letdown. How do you think, I mean, do you think she's going to walk away with a husband, Tibba? Do you think she's going to walk away with someone who's like committing to her? Do you have any ideas? Like if you had to put money on how her journey's ending? You know what? I try to kind of put myself in her shoes and kind of 
be who she's clicked with the most, especially with, you know, um, interviews that she's done now that her season is over in real time. So I'm trying to piece all the clues together. And if I had to put money on it, I would say Zach. Unfortunately, it's not Ivan, but I would say Zach. Um, <laughs> Because I just feel like, I mean, that comment that she made on the Ellen show, that interview that she did with um, with her saying that, you know, Zach could be that future husband, maybe dropping a little bit of hints there. But I mean, I feel like it's got to be Zach or if it's not him, then Ben. I totally agree. Those are definitely my top two. But I just I sense something coming. I don't know what it is, but some type of twist. Like, I just don't see the ending going that smoothly. Um, clearly it looks like there's a couple bumps in the road, but I don't know what that means. I just, I feel like something's coming and it's not going to be like, boom, this is my future husband. I feel like there's going to be some hiccups, but I don't know what. Oh, well, the good news or the bad news, I don't know, is the wait is truly almost over. I feel like this whole season has gone by like so crazy. It's not even like it's gone by fast. It's just been such a whirlwind. Um, I kind of completely forgot about fantasy suite. That's how much of like a whirlwind it's been. But apparently we're getting fantasy suites next week. Fantasy suites are this week and it stresses me out. I've never felt this feeling, but I'm in love with you. It's strange envisioning her spending the night with another man. It's like the elephant in the room. So Obviously, fantasy suites are tough. They're always tough. I always feel so bad for who, like whoever's in this position. It really is difficult. I, just because I think you're so aware of how deep your feelings are, it must be terrifying to even consider the fact that other people feel the same. But I do want to go back to your point earlier, Hiba, about that jump cut situation, perhaps, with him not being willing to say, I love you. I mean, right there, we just saw yeah. Ben tell her, I'm in love with you. Yeah. So. What do you think? It feels like based on that, all of these hometowns are going to go pretty well. It seems like that. I mean, especially for, for Ben. I mean, he flat out said, I love you. No hesitation. Very confident as well. And to go back to the fantasy suites, I got to say it is awkward. I mean, you're sitting <laughs> there with three of your competitors fighting for your, the love of your life, essentially, and your future wife. And I mean, I just, to put myself in those shoes, I just don't know how those men and those contestants can just, I mean, just sit there and just comprehend that, you know, <laughs> did something go down last night? Is something going to go down tonight? Like, it's just so unsettling for me. <laughs> I totally agree. Um, like putting myself in their shoes. I just don't understand how they can sit there and make small talk and laugh after yeah, they know, know they just like are all spending the night with each other's girlfriends. I don't know. It's a very weird dynamic. But yes, to answer the question, it looks like the hometowns did go well. Um, and I feel like how could they not just because like we said, such a gr good group of men. Um, I feel like it can't be that horribly wrong, but um, we'll have to <laughs> see. But I just feel like this whole season has been about the edits. And then once we actually see the episode, we're like, OK, this was not as exactly. bad as they played it out to be. Exactly. So hopefully that's where this is going as well. <laughs> oh, I totally agree. And I really do think, I know, I feel like we've been saying this over and over again all season, but this is a really great group of guys. They're very mature. A lot of them are very smart. And I mean, clearly, Tasia has a lot to lose. Let's look at this next clip. When the love is this real, there's a lot to lose. This thing could be the bomb that just explodes everything. So Ivan just said that this could be like a bomb going off or something. I don't know. We were just talking about the edits. I think that at this stage of the game, I feel like, I don't know. Do you expect any of these guys to whip out some crazy skeleton in their closet and blow the whole thing up? I feel like this is maybe them just trying to build suspense. What do you think, Avery? It, it has to be because they've already let so much out. They have been so vulnerable and like spilled a lot on television so I feel like that would have came out earlier I don't think there could possibly be another bomb that they have to drop at least um probably some conflict with just the whole relationships but not any personal bomb that they're dropping on her I just feel like it's a little late like they're taking Tasha home to meet her family I feel like they have to get everything out before that then you know yeah definitely I feel like again this is the editor's just working their magic, you know, those bachelor, bachelorette producers, you know, always trying to keep 
us on our toes and just to have the expectation of the suspense and the unexpected that might happen. I mean, unless these guys, you know, pull a jet and say they actually have a girlfriend back home. So I feel like we just never really know until we get that confirmation at the very end. But I mean, who knows? They might pull a skeleton because it's been done in the past. So, I mean, it's just so unpredictable. I don't even know what to say. (laughs) I know, it's really (laughs) crazy. I mean, in this next clip, it looks like Tasia might be getting some unexpected news. There's a bro ceremony. What do I do with that? I can be getting engaged. I'm terrified. I have been down this road before. There's a lot of things that I don't want to experience that I have in the past. So, I mean, all I take away from that is, like, things are getting so, so real. I feel like someone may be saying something. They've teased us with, like, moments like that before i feel like it was what was it a couple teasers ago where we were like oh my god riley is gonna reveal something that's like so insane and it ended up being a little less crazy than we thought so again i don't want to jump to any conclusions but i think this moment here with zach where she's talking once again about like i have been through this before this is something that i take really seriously is very telling into like her headspace at the very end i mean I feel like Tasha knows what she wants and is going to take this last like episode to totally figure out like make her mind up. I feel like she's going to she's going to be pretty clear as we get to the end. What do you think, Keva? I mean, it's definitely difficult because she has been married before. She's been through this journey before. So she definitely has those preconceived notions attached to, you know, the idea of marriage and what it was and kind of how it was crushed for her. So I feel like her vision and idea of it once again is kind of tainted. So it's more added pressure for her not only to pick the right person, but to make it work for a second time. So I just feel bad for this girl. I mean, you can see her break down so she definitely has a lot of pressure yeah I mean you guys both said it perfectly like so much pressure already has been married um so I feel like she is someone who knows what she wants but at this point in time she's just now wanting to see who also is in the same headspace as her who also is ready to get married because I mean, based off these clips some people seem iffy sometimes and other times we have them saying I love you so I think, like you said, this moment's very telling with Zach. Like, she's just going to let it all out and clear the air. And it's no more, like, BS. Like, it's very serious. And she just needs all her answers before she's up there and someone's about to propose to her. So just crazy dynamic. But it should be interesting. (laughs) It certainly will be. Let's jump right into this next clip. This stress and anxiety just kind of hit me. What if it didn't work out? So, I mean, here we have, oh my God, you guys just said it. And I feel like this clip is like the perfect example. She really is going through so much. The weight of this decision is so evident, but I think it's normal for her to like have some anxieties, have some doubts. You know, we're getting to the end. I think this is a common theme with past bachelorettes, past bachelors. I mean, I would be doing this if I was in her shoes. What about you, Avery? Absolutely. I mean, she's been handling it so well. I mean, yeah, she's crying, but that's expected. Um, Like we said, there's so much pressure. This is so intense. So I understand why she's super emotional. I mean, once again, she has those preconceived notions, you know, about making the right decision, because unfortunately, with her previous marriage, she made the wrong decision. So It's just all of these thoughts, I'm sure, are just, you know, rushing through her head. And again, just the amount of pressure and weight. And I just hope it just works out in the end for her. Same. Well, one clip they've been teasing us with pretty much all season is Tasha's dad making it very clear to her that she needs to make the right choice. Frankly, I'm worried. I've seen you hurt before. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to be making the biggest mistake of your life. He doesn't want her to make the biggest mistake of her life. I mean, my goodness, those are some very serious words. Of course, none (laughs) of us want to see her do that. Uh, I feel like having your dad sit you down and have this kind of conversation, whether it's starting with him saying, I trust you, I don't want to see you make the biggest mistake of your life, or I think you're making a mistake, because of course, we don't really know the full lens of this conversation. Either way, I mean, this is the kind of moment that that really makes you think. I feel like your your parents, you know, can really 
be that final box to check. So if her dad has some concerns, I don't know, might might mess things up for a front runner. What do you think, Hiba? Yeah, it's great to see her dad's perspective because again, you know, that protective parent is kind of, you know, coming into the forefront, especially for Tasha's storyline. And I mean, your parents can definitely be that voice of clarity as well, you know, kind of open up and really focus on what is important and which suitor is the best for her. Um, but I mean, man, to say that this could be the biggest mistake of your life that just adds the pressure even more and I feel so bad for her and I mean you can't blame him because this is such an unconventional and untraditional way to get married or to find your husband so of course you know that protective instinct does kick in so hopefully you know no matter what happens I'm sure he'll be by her side supporting her yes I agree I feel like in this moment she's definitely probably like battling with heart and mind and she just needs to go with her gut feeling and even if she has a gut feeling when you have your parents saying something like this it just kind of puts more pressure on this already stressful situation because obviously you know you like I put I'm putting myself in her shoes like I would kind of value what my parents say but at the end of the end of the day if I didn't agree with that I think I'd still do what I want but that's that's where it's like the tug and pull effect like is that the right thing um, so I don't know, like you said, I hope it just ends well for her. Well, I think we certainly all hope that I don't know that this next clip is going to give us an abundance of confidence, <laughs> but let's take a look at what they're teasing from her final rose ceremony. The drama and emotion of Tasha's journey continues. So here's the thing. I think there are happy cries and then I think there are sad cries and then there are just some people who are ugly criers and they can't help it. But that felt like a sad cry to me. That seemed like she was upset. I I don't know. I I just ooh, I feel I feel nervous. What do you think, Avery? I think regardless in this situation, it's hard to be completely happy cuz yes, you're potentially getting engaged but at the same time you're saying goodbye to some great guy that you've built also a relationship with and met the family and have gone on this huge journey with and it's just uh it's like almost like a feeling of betrayal but obviously she doesn't want to like betray this person she's built a relationship with I don't know it's also twisted so it's like there's a happy ending and also a sad ending regardless of the outcome uh, regardless of the outcome or maybe just a sad ending. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. I definitely agree with that, especially because these aren't just four contestants. They're four people that she's had a deep history with now. So imagine having, hopefully assuming that she, you know, she picks somebody, imagine having three breakups within an episode of The Bachelorette. And these are deep relationships, of course, that she's established with each of these people. So having that much emotion just being held back and then waiting for it to finally come to an end and it's finally released i mean this girl i mean the amount of therapy i'm expecting like this is just something again a very unconventional untraditional way to go about this so i feel like it's going to be a very difficult thing to overcome once you know the dust kind of settles oh absolutely i mean going to be a tough decision. I do not envy her. But you guys, the wait is finally over for us. Not like we've had to go through it the way Tasha has, but I cannot wait for next week to see how her journey ends. In the meantime, we want to know what you guys think. Did you notice any other clues in this teaser? Do you have any predictions on who her winner will be? Let us know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can keep up with all of our Bachelorette videos. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring. I was joined by the incredible Avery Grooms and Hiba Berry. Our socials are on the screen right now if you want to come say hi and talk all things Bachelorette. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.